I really love my Microvision game system. This is the next one I have that unfortunately has screen rot. The screen doesn't work on this anymore. I've been hanging on to it in hopes that somebody comes up with a new screen for these, and somebody has. Atari Age user RW Burbage over at Atari Age has gotten some new screens made. Check this out. It's a direct replacement screen. Pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to putting this in the old Microvision and uh, getting this screen working again on this extra unit I have. He also makes one that has a backlight. I've got one of those coming as well. And I plan on mount, mounting that in this complete box one to put a backlight in this Microvision. So I'll be doing a video on that. This video is going to be me installing this new screen into this old Microvision to bring it back to life. You get more information about these screens over on his website, voiceofthemummy.com. He has a page over there dedicated to these LCD displays that shows pictures and how to order them and all this other good stuff. These are available on eBay right now from him. And I'll put a link in the show notes for both the website and his eBay auctions as well. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's get the old CIB Microvision out of the way. We'll put the screen off to the side here. And then we're going to open up the old Microvision. So we take out the screws out of here at the back. Do, 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 do. Getting a new screen. All right. Oh, things are flying everywhere. Oh! battery get out of there you too there we go now I can flip it over so now we're gonna take out these screws for two screws right here Let's release that little plastic cover plate Let's take this one off take this one off Do that one and remove this one. Boop. Okay, that's going to remove. Get this out of the way. Get this out of the way. So now I can take off this plastic cover. Just like so. Right there is the old screen and it's a little special connector right there. There's the little overlay. There's the old reflective backing, which didn't work too well. Okay. So now let's open up the new screen. I like how he packaged this. This is pretty nice. One thing you really want to make sure of is getting this connector put in correctly. You should see these dark lines facing up towards you. The actual screen sits on top of the lower piece like down here, like a little shelf. And this is the exposed side to go against the circuit board. Then we're going to place our pink piece right here centered up between these two poles. Now we will gingerly, lovingly, put these little screws back into the plastic protective screen to lock everything down. Before I put this connector back on, let's put a little bit of this deoxid on there. To try to clean up the connector a little bit. Okay, so let's finish putting this back together and then we'll give it a quick test. 
Okay, I've got the pot back in, the little piezos underneath this plate here. On off switch, you can see how everything's wired in, everything's oriented. Otherwise, if you don't get it back in exactly right, it won't go back together, unfortunately. So let's finish up the assembly. And there we go, another Microvision brought back from the dead with a brand new LCD screen. Awesome. Pretty happy to have this thing restored. So in the next video I'm going to do, I want to install the backlight version that'll make this all light up uh, behind the screen, make it easier to see and also be able to play it at night. Pretty awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching. Okay, let's play some here. Let's see. Boop, boop. Oh, try it again. Breakthrough. This is a pretty challenging game. I've always liked Blockbuster on the... Uh, Microvision. Well, 20 points. Microvision's <laughs> 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 Pixelcast.